what's the difference between careless driving and dangerous driving uh, it's effectively a matter of degree um, by that I mean it depends on the consequences of your driving if your driving causes injury to a person or damage to property it's very likely going to be elevated from one of careless driving to one of dangerous driving so it depends on the consequences that's pretty much it everyone is expected to drive um, in a manner of that will be expected of a competent and careful driver uh, what careless driving is is where your driving falls below the standard of a competent and care, careful driver what dangerous driving is is where your uh, driving falls far below the standard that will be expected of a competent and careful driver so it's really a, a, a matter of degree or, or the severity of what happens in the driving that uh, determines the charge you're going to get you've got careless driving and dangerous driving both can be the same the difference between them is the results of the driving I could drive the same way down the road, but if this doesn't result in an accident or injury, it might be careless driving if I've done something wrong. I can drive the same way, but if I collide with someone uh, and cause serious injury or injury or cause damage to property or crash into someone, it's now, my driving is now elevated to dangerous driving. And there's no hard and fast rule, there never is. Not here and not in the UK. It's a case by case thing based on all of the factors. Uh, well, people want to know that obviously you know what you're doing that's very important but they also want to know whether or not you believe in what you're saying that's very important too i've often found that when i'm talking to people they'll ask me what i think and they'll look at me very intently in the eyes to see whether or not i believe what i'm saying so it's important that you do tell them whether you think they have a case or whether they don't if they do i'll tell them if they don't i'll tell them as well